Okay, so I just saw Michelle Lowe's video, which was a critique of Frank Tufano's openly Lysenkoist video about genes and how diet affects gene expression, or something like that, but he completely discounts, I mean, with this video he's proven that he is absolutely not a Darwinist, which means he would be seen as very strange in biological circles. Of course, we also know that Frank Tufano is not a scientist, and unlike Frank Tufano, I don't get on here and pretend I'm a scientist of any, by any stretch of the imagination, or that I have any real advanced degrees, because I don't. However, Frank does touch on some things that make some sense. Um, for example, diet does affect gene expression. However, if you want to affect gene expression positively, it seems like what you want to be doing is following a plant-centered, at least a plant-centered omnivorous diet, or a vegan diet. Okay, now he talks, now this is the thing. We, uh, we understand that gene, uh, exercise affects gene expression. Diet affects gene expression. I'm going to leave links to this, okay, in the description. Uh, we know diet affects gene expression, and, uh, Exercise affects gene expression, and basically everything kind of affects gene expression. But if you want to really powerfully affect gene expression, for example, I take quercetin, which is a bioflavonoid, uh, because I was diagnosed with asthma, and the reason why is because it down-regulates certain genes that cause inflammation. Um, now, I'm going to leave a link to what Lysenkoism is, which is what Frank is promoting. Frank is promoting this imbecilic idea that somehow nurture supersedes all genetic factors. It's communist. Uh, it was a, a fake science created by the communists, the Soviet Union, to promote this idiotic concept that there is no genetic uh, differences between individuals or races, that there is no um, genetic influence on um, outcomes. Uh, but we know that this is very not true. Um, gene, genes affect the uh, IQ. Now, this is the thing. Uh, IQ is about 80% genetic, okay? Can it be modified through things? Yes. But primarily, this is nutritional approaches and exercise approaches that lift the IQ. But it's not, like I said, 80% genetic. That's a big chunk of the pie there. Um, so you have that, and then exercise, of course, affects gene expression. That's why when bodybuilders lift weights, they get bigger muscles. It affects the gene expression in the way the body is. But some bodybuilders take steroids because that helps to supersede the, you know, the genetic limitations and cause genes to be expressed differently due to the hormonal influence of those steroids. Um, you can get similar effects through, uh, say, a high-protein diet, but this also stimulates the mTOR pathway, which causes you to age more quickly after you hit your, you know, mid-30s or whatever. So my point is, is this, um, and I, I want to, I, I, I will leave a link to what Darwin's theory of natural selection is, what uh, evolution through natural selection is. It's just really disturbing to see somebody misquote biology so thoroughly. Um, and as I said, I'm not a scientist. I don't pretend to be a scientist, but I am a Darwinist and I am a eugenist. I support eugenics. Um, what you need to also understand here is this. Um, diet gets you part of the way. Now, I'm a transhumanist. I believe in transcending human frailty through the use of technology. Okay. Well, let's talk about this. So, diet affects you somewhat. You can control gene expression quite a bit, actually, with diet, as far as cancer risk and things like that. Diet, exercise, lifestyles, heart disease, cancer, what have you. You can control that to a large extent with dietary choices. However, you can't control these things all the way. Um, so, what you need is you need things like gene editing. Okay, which is, and this is where people like Frank and all these natural hippie people, where they fall short. It's because they don't understand the need to promote gene modification um, in humans. 
Uh, now, Michelle Lowe, I don't see Michelle Lowe as some wishy-washy liberal. I see her as somebody that actually makes her decisions based on objective evidence as much as is possible. Nobody's completely objective. I'm not completely objective. You're not completely objective. Nobody's completely objective. But Michelle Lowe does seem to, as I do, she seems to weigh the evidence and make choices based on the evidence. Um, and that's all for this video. It was just really disturbing to see somebody misquote biology so much. Frank, read Origin of Species by Natural Selection. Please, put down the, uh, what do you call it, the Weston Price nonsense and what have you. Probably you're reading Ansel Keys and saying, Ansel Keys is wrong, but for some reason the same thing done by Weston Price is correct. And believe it or not, Frank, Weston Price came to kind of the same conclusions as Ansel Keys. But my point is, put down the nutrition and pick up the biology. You really, especially, read what came from Darwin's own pen. Read Origin of Species by Natural Selection. Read The Expression of Emotions in Humans and Animals, the book that made me decide to become a vegetarian. Maybe it might affect your mind a little bit and make you see how uh, ethically wrong it is to eat non-human animals that have the same emotions as you do, Frank. 